you know, it's fitting that her mother was the first inductee because quite often in this country we are so obsessed with our professional teams, whether they're NFL, Major League Baseball, NBA, even hockey, that we quite often overlook the amateur athletes who are absolutely phenomenal and the recipient of our next induction was a member of perhaps the greatest amateur athletic event in our country's history. It turned tens of millions of sports fans in America into hockey fans. What the 1980 men's hockey team did in upsetting the powerhouse Russians was nothing short of phenomenal. It was the event of the century, according to Sports Illustrated, and who am I to argue with that? So, to introduce our next inductee, let's welcome Steve back. Thanks, Roman, and it's really my honor and pleasure to introduce uh, Jean Podlich, Kivik. Originally from Everett, Minnesota, just a couple miles from my dad's hometown of Virginia, Minnesota, and, um, and, and really the hotbed of so many incredible uh, hockey stars. And as Jerome alluded to, I mean, uh, for those of you who have never seen The Miracle on Ice, you have to watch the movie. Uh, unbelievable. And the, the line that scored the most goals and really made sure we won the gold medal were three Minnesotans. Buzz Schneider, who's Croatian. Um, John Harrington from Virginia, Minnesota, next to where Jane grew up in the Pavlich family, and the Baggage family. Um, they're on the Iron Range, and so it's really an honor for me to, to introduce Jean, and I'm so proud of her. Uh, we first connected with her last year to work with her and partner with her and many sponsors uh, to fund this charity called The Ranch, and uh, Jean can share a few more details about that, but Jean has uh, kept her brother's memory alive in a lot of the special ways. And uh, we're just so thrilled she's here tonight to talk a little bit about her brother and show him some respect. And for you younger folks, you need to know more about Mark Pavlich, and Gene will tell us some more. He had a, quite an NHL hockey career. Not too many NHL players have scored five goals in one game. And uh, that's pretty amazing. Gene, please come and share a few thoughts about your brother. Stepped up. 
and they're helping us right now. And um, Sam Hubbard, you know, some of the big names in Minnesota are behind this. Um, because it's not only for the hockey players, athletes in general, anybody that's struggling with mental health, and nowadays you know it's big. So anyways, um, it's, it's all good. In spite of, you know, his tragedy, um, you know, he worked really hard to make a name for himself. Actually, he wasn't even trying to make a name. He was very humble. He just worked hard and practiced and practiced and, um, and got to where he is because of his work ethic. I think you mentioned that. And so, you know, I hope that's what he's remembered for. His hard work, he's generous, always had a smile, always, you know, giving. And so I loved, loved, loved everything about my brother. Um, so, um, I had no idea how good this feels to get an award because as a sibling growing up with somebody like him, as dad was making extra shells for his trophies, I was so grateful to have a younger sister who liked dolls, so we had something to put on ours, you know, our <laughs> shelves were empty. But um, I'm really happy the way, I mean, women have come so far. Um, but uh, I'm very, very, very proud of, you know, what, what he did, and uh, this has just been such an honor. So, I am, um, thank you very much. Very well organized, too, Steve. I, I'm very impressed. I think I'll be here again sometime. I really like this equation. <laughs> We're a lot of fun, aren't we? <laughs> so, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 